All right. Well, we're gonna start off tonight with our frosted pecan bites. <laughs> and to start off with those, you wanna preheat your oven to about 275. And once you preheat your oven to about 275, you wanna get 16 ounces of half pecans. And you're gonna to wanna to heat those for about 10 to 15 minutes to lightly toast them. Once you've got, get, got them lightly toasted, we're gonna to wanna to pull them out of the oven and let them cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in. Get started. So I can get Jessica back up here talking because I gotta whip some eggs up. So we'll go ahead and get these in. There we go. So while that's cooking, you're gonna to wanna to get a mixing bowl and a wire whisk. Now you're gonna want your wire whisk to be flimsy so that you get good movement with it. You're gonna to wanna to use the tip of it while you mix them. And what you're gonna be using is, is the egg whites, not the yolk. Now does everyone know how to separate egg, yolk from eggs? There's two ways to do it. You can crack it and use the egg and go back and forth without breaking the yolk and dropping it in. Or, Larry, who always has a wonderful method to everything. You can take the egg and you can crack it. And once you crack it, you can open it and just use your hand. A little messier this way. Doesn't that look yummy? You sure? I mean, look at that. You can't get no cleaner than that. Now, whoever eats the yolk. That's, can you imagine people actually drink these? Raw. You're gonna to wanna to beat these till they're frothy and soft peaks. Not till they're dry. Not till they're dry. You're just gonna to wanna to lightly beat them. You're gonna to wanna to time it out pretty well because you don't want to get them finished before your pecans. So I'm just gonna slowly start them here. Now I went ahead and did these pecans for 10 minutes just to lightly toast them, just to give them a head start. I'm gonna go. You can. You know, I mean, they'll, I mean, they're gonna, you're toasting them, you're gonna put them right back in and bake them again. So. Okay, and we're just gonna sit these off to the side here. For those of you that are joining us, we're making frosted pecans at the moment. We've started and we went ahead and toasted our pecans and now we're letting them cool. And I've took two egg whites and I've continually beat them and whisked them and I'm trying to reach a frothy and soft peak. <laughs> cow As we discussed earlier, cow slobbers, I really don't know where that came from, but it sounded interesting, didn't it? Made you really want to eat these frosted pecans. That's what you're looking for. That's exactly what you're looking for. Now once you reach that point, you're gonna to want to, like we had discussed, every, I was saying every oven's different, every pan you use is different, for those of us who just got here. The recipe is going to say 325. Um, we found earlier when we cooked it that it would be better if we bake it at 300 for the full amount of time. And you can either go 325 and shorten the time depending on your oven, or you can, you know, lower the temperature and extend your time. <coughs> Whatever works best for you. So now that we've got the cons out, we've got a frothy and soft peak. We're gonna change the temperature to 300. And we're gonna let that rise. And as that's rising, we've reached our soft, frothy peak. As it just stands up and falls over, we're gonna to wanna to add our sugar, which is a cup of sugar. I'm going to fold it in as I go. I'm going to add them, fold everything in as I go, and it'll fold up really nice. What's that? It's fixing to go in one second. What's that? Mm-hmm. 
Well, you're going to want to melt it down. And I just wanted to go ahead and get these pecans in there. It doesn't take very long to melt your butter down. And we'll just go ahead and dump the rest of those in there. And as we fold this in, our butter will be melting. You're gonna to wanna to use a half a cup of butter. I find it easier to use stick butter when you're baking and things of that sort. It's just easier to measure out. And you're just gonna to to put that pan in there and you're gonna to wanna to let the butter melt. And then you're gonna to wanna to mix this very well. And you just wanna to to fold it all in together. So you're gonna want the butter to melt for two reasons. One, to coat the pan, and two, to mix in with this as it bakes, because every 10 minutes you're gonna wanna fold it back over on the pan, and it's gonna soak the butter up, and it's gonna help it caramelize, and it's also gonna help it keep from burning. But like Jessica said, anytime you bake, you've got to watch it. Doesn't take very long to melt down. You just want to rub your butter all around, get it good and melted. We're just going to want to fold these down on here. You're going to want to put these in. And if I can operate this thing here, I'm going to go at 300. We're gonna shoot for 25 minutes. We can always go a little longer as those cook. Like I was talking about, every 10 minutes you're gonna to wanna to stir them. Keep them evenly coated in butter, evenly caramelized. You're gonna to wanna to take and pull these out. And you're gonna to wanna to flip them, stir them, soak up all that good butter. As you can see, the sugar's starting to come together. Caramelized, we're getting a good even coat on everything. You're gonna get that back in the oven. And in about 10 minutes, we're gonna wanna stir it again. <laughs> You're out of your comfort zone. As you can see here with these products side by side, as they're slowly coming together. We're gonna give this one last stir. Who could see themselves doing this for their family at home? Yeah, 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 yeah. And at the end process for our frosted pecans, we have our wonderful frosted pecans, which we also discussed can be used in many different ways. Peanut, somebody said peanut butter. You could drizzle caramel over them, you could drizzle chocolate over them. Any way you any way you want to do it. It's your kitchen, your microwave, your kitchen aid, whatever it may be, it's yours. And it's yours to do it your way in any way you like.